Hey all and welcome back to video 2 of the AI MVP launch series. So if you remember in the last video we did a lot of planning around this MVP that we are going to build brain dump and then we drafted the UI development plan and the plan was to start designing in this video. So after a lot of thinking you know I was actually comparing whether I should show you guys the design phase or shall I just jump straight inside bolt or lovable and start building the entire MVP out and after some thinking i had thought that the goal of this series is to teach you how you can launch an mvp like really quick and for that to be very honest you don't really need a separate design phase and that is why for now i am i have decided to proceed with building the front end inside bolt and then later on i'll add an optional video around having a design phase using ux pilot and figma so that if you have any client then you could you know have this design phase and you could show those designs to your clients so the agenda of this video is to create the entire landing page of the mvp that we are building that is brain dump and if you remember in the last video we wrote out the full ui development plan i and i told you not to worry about the styling at this point the thing is if you ask chat gpt to provide you a design system then a lot of times it would just mess things around so instead what i prefer doing is i prefer going to dribble or behance and there i want you to start looking for inspirations for some web designs that you really like so you could just go on to there and you can look for web design along with the niche in which you you are building the mvp and once you like it then we will proceed and that that is going to be our design system also if you are wondering how exactly did i get this so if you remember in the ui development plan we asked it to give us the ui flow so this is a mermaid diagram so what you can do is you can just copy this mermaid diagram and you can go to a mermaid editor and if you paste it there then it will give you the visual uh, of the ui flow so as you can see we have the sign up or login screen then we go to daily dashboards submit brain dump and etc so basically the these are all of the screens that we have inside our ui development plan and this is what we are going to build in the upcoming video for today we are going to focus only on the landing page because from my experience what i have seen is when it comes to building with lovable and bolt if you really work hard on your landing page and ensure that your landing page looks really beautiful then building rest of the screens get much easier so that is what we are going to do today we are going to spend good amount of time on the landing page and ensure that everything looks really well and then in the next video we are going to build the entire front end so let me show you how it goes like i'll start with dribble the plan is to look for good web design inspiration for my platform so i'll just write something like web design mental health maybe yeah i had already searched for it okay so now the idea is to start going through all of these designs that you see and you know finalize a design that you really like so maybe you like the color palette or maybe you like how the design is looking like so after going through everything you know and liking something so for example this one is good i could use this let me see if they have the entire landing page here they do have the entire landing page and this really looks good so shall we try this out yeah i mean why not let's let's just go ahead and try it out to be very honest i'll be honest with you guys i was thinking that i'll proceed with this design and i'll create the entire video around this design but i really like this one and i think that we can replicate this design as well and i want to be really honest when it comes to the community members so let me go ahead i'll take a screenshot of this yeah so i just took the screenshot now what we have to do is we have to go to this custom gpt that i have shared with a lot of you guys so if you want i can also share you the prompt that i have used to train this snap prompt custom gpt but if you don't have any problem then you can just come here and what you can do is you can take that particular image that we just screenshotted let me see where is it and you can just put it here now what this custom gpt would do is it would analyze the entire landing page and then it would give you a very detailed prompt on top of this landing page which the, which you can then use for your mvp and then we can start building the mvp or the landing page so yeah let me i don't have to do anything i just have to click on this arrow and we will just wait for it to draft this prompt for us so as you can see it has already started giving me this prompt looks good so far it has also given me the color palette the design principles etc and this is the reason i did not ask you to you know ready the design system in the previous video because now is the time that we finalize the design uh, system for our mvp okay so it gave us a pretty good prompt pretty detailed 
so the thing is if you go through it you will be able to see that we are building a modern engaging landing page for a student focused mental mental health platform but that is not true we are building a landing page for brandum and that is why what i'll do is i'll copy this i'll then go to our chat which we had going on with chat gpt around brandum i'll paste it here and then i'm going to ask it to update this prompt for brandum so that is what i'm going to do please give me the detailed textual description of our landing page based on the above description but update it for brain dump feel free to go through our conversation and ensure that this landing page goes well with our mvp brain dump i got a bit confused what exactly to say but yeah i am just asking it to you know update the above prompt and ensure that it matches with what we are trying to build here which is brain dump so yep so in the meantime what i can do is so in the meantime let me open a bolt i am going to use bolt in this case but you can also use lovable that works good as well but i have been experimenting with bolt lately and i really love how it works so that is why for this video also i am going to use bolt okay let me bring it up okay so great we have bolt here all good now what i want you to do is i want you to take this prompt that chat gpt gave us copy it okay it is still not done Okay so let me copy it I just copied it let me go inside bolt and I'll say it I am building the landing page for and then I'm just going to paste the prompt here So as you can see we have the entire prompt here for now and this is for the landing page of Brandum let me add another line please refer to the attached image for design inspiration and at the same time I'm also going to attach that image which we screenshotted from dribble let me drop it here Okay so we are good to go and let me click on go let's see how it goes i hope the output is pretty okay so it is thinking and like i said you can use lovable as well i am just proceeding with bold for now but if you like lovable then very soon i am going to you know do a video around using lovable as well for the same mbp but yep for now in the launch series we are going to use bold but later on i'll upload a video using lovable as well so let it think and work on it oh okay like you as you can see this was the first prompt and i'm amazed at how the hero section is looking like let's see we could be up for some surprises okay not bad today's brandum need to finalize the q3 marketing strategy start dumping how it works feature section how it works testimonials pricing let me go down get clarity take action repeat the simplest way to transform your scattered thoughts into organized action the dashboard is looking like this it has all of the features that we are going to have inside the mvp the impact okay so this is the impact that users will have if they start using this product good looking testimonial section not bad could be improved definitely how it works okay that's nice see the ui in action mental clarity is nothing without execution I really like that how it, uh, you know it is using these tags in order uh, on top of these images just like we had in those inspiration reflect and improve every week this is our week in review weekly insights mood trends completion score built for overthinkers solopreneurs and anyone trying to do the same creators and hackers okay founders oh okay it already created the dashboard for oh that's crazy i mean i did not ask it to create this dashboard but still we have a good looking dashboard already and we haven't even dived you know into creating this dashboard this is me apparently all right your brain deserves a reset beautiful to be very honest for a single prompt it did a really great job i was not expecting this at all but yeah did a pretty good job and now what we can do is we can start you know refining it so maybe you can go through it you can refine the copy or maybe you can separate some replace some components so to be very honest i am liking it so far and i don't really want to make any changes i had a lot of stuff that i wanted to show you guys so i'm anyways going to show you that so yeah so let's say i am not liking this testimonial section okay so what i prefer doing is you can go to 21st.dev this is a great website from where you can you know get components let me browse some components and okay let me search testimonials because that is what i want this testimonial section looks nice okay there is a premium component we can definitely use premium component but let me you know show free components to you okay so i found this animated testimonial and i really like how it looks like so what you can do is you can just click on 
So yeah, you can click on copy prompt and once the prompt is copied, you can just go to the section. You can click on this button. You can select this uh, section and then you are going to paste this prompt and you are going to say, please replace the selected section with the above and ensure that this section goes well with the rest of the landing page. So yep, let's see how it works. So yeah, in the meantime, what you can do is, so for example, if some of the sections were not nice enough, you can just go through this website and you can look for some other components that you would like to have onto your website. And it is as simple as just copying that prompt and pasting it inside Bolt and then selecting that particular section and updating it. So yeah, this is something that you can do definitely. And let it update this testimonial section so that I could give you the preview. So let's see if it was able to update the testimonial section. So yep, as you can see, it did that and now we have this updated testimonial sections from 21st.dev and this is something that you can do for each and every section if you don't like something. So yeah, so the plan right now is to spend a lot of time on perfecting the landing page and ensuring that you really like it because this is going to work as foundation for rest of your MVP. Some other stuff that you can do is so to be honest, it is already looking pretty nice. I don't really want to update it yet, but yeah, what I wanted to show you guys is so for example, I want this kind of an image and for brain dump, but you don't have it. So what you can do is you can just screenshot it and you can go to the chat where you were talking about brain dump and you can bring it in. And what you have to ask chat GPT is I want to have a similar image on my Brandom landing page. Could you please give me a detailed prompt in order to replicate this image so that I could put it into a, an image generator and then generate a similar image in short that it looks realistic. So yeah, I just prompted it to, you know, create a similar looking image. What you can do with this is you can also use this exact strategy for some graphics. So for example, if I want a graphic, a brain 3d graphic, I could do that as well. But for now I really like the landing page, so I'm not sure what to do, but yeah, maybe I can do another video where I'll show you exactly how you can use chat GPT or ideogram in order to, you know, generate these 3d assets for your entire platform. Maybe I will do another video as well. Yeah, definitely. I'll do that. So yeah, once you have this prompt, what I usually do is I just go to ideogram and from ideogram, I just inside ideogram, I paste this prompt. I choose, uh, for example, if this is supposed to be realistic design and that is what I'm going to choose. And let me just click on generate and then I'll just wait for ideogram to, you know, generate a similar looking image for me. Let me also show you another platform that I built for a client and you guys will be amazed, amazed. So yep, this athlete is totally AI generated. I used ideogram in order to generate this athlete. And I just, you know, uh, ensured that this athlete wore the same clothes as my color palette. And as you can see, this looks like really beautiful. And this is some component from 21st dev only. We have this. So yeah, I mean, using AI, you can design decent looking landing pages. They don't have to be so generic and ugly. So yeah, okay. So this is what we have currently. This is what it Oh, this looks amazing to be very honest. So yeah, I have this graphic. What I'll do is I'll do some more research. I'll go through the landing page and I'll update my landing page to somehow maybe use this person. And in the next video, I'll show you the finalized landing page for Brandom and then we can proceed from there. If you found this helpful, go ahead and start building your own version. In the previous video, we learned how we can plan the entire MVP and in this video, after going through this video, we will be able to build your entire landing page. Try using snap prompt, bolt and 21st dev and ideogram just like I showed you guys. Also for the AI image generation part, I am thinking of doing another video. I'll launch that in a week or two. So I'll just show you how you can design your assets and logos and everything for this MVP using chat GPT or ideogram. In the next video, we will start building the rest of the UI and in, and by the end of that, we will have the entire front end of our MVP finalized. So. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on the community page. Looking forward to them. Looking forward to your feedback. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.